ballots are in, the votes are tallied, and election 2012 is finally in the books. But hold up! There is an untold story of this election, and a collection of Douglas County students were a critical part of the final chapter. It's one of several stories, including one of charity, another of service, and one of recognition. All of them make up this civic duty flared edition of the DCSD Week in Review. Veterans Day is November 11th, and honor those who are serving, or who have served, Douglas County High School's library media specialist created this remarkable display featuring elements and artifacts of American history. It took my entire library staff, my social studies department, my drama department, and an outside entity remembering our veterans. Altogether, the team collected dozens of books, model bombers, even an oxygen mask from a war that gave us the greatest generation. Douglas County vets even came into our schools to share their memories. So as the kids are researching World War II in social studies, our current play production happens to be I Never Saw Another Butterfly about the children of the Holocaust. Butterflies fill the halls of DCHS, not nearly as many as the innocent who died in concentration camps during the war. A reminder of all our veterans gave in the name of human rights. And that's what I'm here for, is to provide all of these resources all of the research and pull it together to make something meaningful for kids and I think that's the biggest thing librarians can do. One of the freedoms we celebrate thanks in part to that kind of service is our right to vote. On election day, DCSD students engaged in their own kind of service, ensuring as election judges our right to vote went smoothly in Douglas County. There were people here like at like 6.30 and I was like why would you be in here so early and then the line started getting longer. And in the morning, Castleview High Schoolers greeted voters, directed them to polling booths, and even handed out those ever-popular stickers. Later in the day, another team of students arrived at election headquarters. And after vowing to stay nonpartisan, they headed downstairs, where they arranged ballots, checked for errors, and prepared tens of thousands of votes for the final tally. In return for their service, the county makes a donation to a student's favorite school organization. Maybe it's mock trial or debate team, and they won't get much closer to the democratic process either. I don't think I really understood just how much goes into the whole voting process, so it's been kind of cool to see the ins and outs of how it all works. There was some huge news announced in the district this week, which we talked about on Ed Nation, which makes up hour two of Let's Talk Education every Wednesday. Uh, Dr. Fagan sent a note out to all of our staff on Monday announcing that there will be no Douglas County School District budget reductions for this next year. That is welcome news. Especially, I mean, how many years? You've been in this district for ever. Five straight years. Be sure to listen every Wednesday from 3 to 5 on CastleRockRadio.com. Ponderosa and yeah, Castleview. Financial literacy at its finest. One of our students at Douglas County High School got a special visit from our superintendent, Dr. Liz Fagan, thanks to a beautiful business she's crafted out of... Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Kiera Kaczynski right. built these pinwheel pens with colors representing every high school in the DCSD. She sells each pen and donates a portion to breast cancer research and awareness. As you know, people have to sign papers in our office all the time and um, they, they take the pens with them. So hopefully this will discourage that, although I'm worried it might encourage it. <laughs> Some quick hits. Teachers have the chance to ask anything to Dr. Fagan, our cabinet, or our administration at a series of feeder meetings over the next three months. It's all about discovering what's happening in our district. Pay for performance, you name it, we'll answer it. You can see a list of where these are happening and when right on your screen. Every meeting begins at 4.30. And finally, the Apple Award nominations are also underway. Click onto the Apple on our homepage, dcsdk12.org, to submit your testimony for your favorite teacher. Have a great week, and thank you for watching.